We're at REIT Week 2010 in Chicago with Sydney Donnell, professor from Texas A&M. Sydney, thanks for joining us. It's great to be here. Now, you call yourself a, a born-again REIT person. What do you mean by that? Well, when I started in the real estate business almost 30 years ago, I was really on the, on the private real estate side. Mm -hmm. I was a construction lender, and we bought and sold real estate assets. And this thing called REITs was really not very widely known, but one of my partners at European Investors at the time said, we need to look at these. And so I went kicking and screaming, saying, I'm not a stock market person, I'm a real estate person, but after I had time to get to know the industry and work with it, I, I became completely converted to the idea that this is the best way to invest in real estate. Okay, so what is it about REIT investment specifically that you find so appealing? Um, well, I think, first of all, Congress actually got it right in the sense that it was originally intended for the small investor to have an opportunity to invest in real estate. So you've got the liquidity and you've got the size. Anybody who wants to invest in a REIT can. But at the same time, you get professional management. You get a diversification of assets. You can diversify by property type. And then you can also end up diversifying your entire investment portfolio by asset class. Now, do you think people are really taking advantage of all that REITs have to offer in terms of investment? I, I really doubt it. Uh, I, I have not seen any studies lately uh, to know how, what the individual investor's asset allocation is to REITs, but I imagine that the message is not getting through uh, to everyone that it should. Um, certainly, we've seen it at the pension funds. Uh, their allocations have, have uh, gone from anywhere from 3 to 8 percent, so they're enthusiastic supporters of the REIT. Unfortunately, we have to fight a lot of negative headlines about REITs, about real estate right now. Mm -hmm. And people are, don't know how to quite differentiate between the problems that they read with housing and subprime markets and commercial real estate being bad and the fact that the REITs actually are part of the solution and have done quite well throughout this you know, last decade, last 20 years. In fact, they've outperformed every kind of real estate there is, so you know, somehow that message still needs to get out. Sydney, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. For more from REIT Week 2010, check out REIT.com.